much for being here. And if you're new here, hello. My name is Ashley. I run things here at Oak Crow Gal, and we are on the road this morning. Um, we are off to the play place. It's about 10 o'clock. I decided to film this video like very spur of the moment. Um, I decided that for the rest of the week, I want to track my macros. Um, yesterday, I know that I overate, and I've been I've been like mentally counting my carbs and I know that that it's been fairly accurate but I just think it's important to start counting again um like I said I know that calorie wise I overate yesterday so um how do you ask yes um so I thought to myself I'm gonna start counting today and then I thought to myself why don't I just film what I ate in a day so that is what we will be um doing today I still don't have a camera mount in my car and if you could see how you were jury rigged right now on my dashboard oh my goodness um, I seriously need to get a camera mount you want you're saying hi to the people that's so nice um, okay so since I'm getting a late like a late start filming this um, this morning I have already eaten I had three eggs cooked in a half tablespoon of butter um, and then I'm still working on my coffee, which is just the Starbucks. Um, oh, it's so good. The Starbucks iced coffee, two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, and then three pumps of the sugar-free, what is it? Sugar-free brown butter, no, brown sugar butter, brown sugar cinnamon, um, the sugar-free Tarani syrup. Um, so yeah, y'all are just gonna be coming along with us today. Well, I shouldn't say coming along. I'm not gonna vlog when we're out probably, unless I eat while we're out. The only thing I brought with me was a bar, um, which I men mentioned in my grocery haul videos multiple times. I've been taking bars with me lately because we tend to be out until around lunchtime. Um, Daisy's not a lunch eater really. She's more of a snacker and a big breakfast and dinner eater. So I never feel pressured when we're out doing things to be like, I, I have to get home so I can feed my kid lunch. Like she doesn't really eat lunch. So um, we don't really do that. So I bring a bar with me just in case I am like dying of starvation and I need something in my system. Um, so we'll probably be at the play place. It takes us about 20 minutes to get there, so 10.30. We'll probably be there like an hour and a half, and then I do need to run to, I don't know if I'm gonna go to Walmart or Target, but I just have to get random stuff. It's payday today, so I just need to get like diapers and Ziploc bags, and um, we're out of applesauce already, which this chick eats applesauce like it's going out of style. Um, so anyway, that's kind of the plan for the morning. Um, but yeah, I will check back in with you guys when I next have something to eat. All right, friends, we just got home. It's 1.45. Um, we were at the play place till about 12.30 and then we swung by Walmart on the way home. Yes, love? Little angel. Um, swung by Walmart on the way home. The only thing I've had to eat was one of these one bars. Um, I This is the chocolate chip cookie dough one. This is the one I had at the play place. I ate that around 11.30. I was starving. Um, I think with like overeating yesterday and then today just being, like I woke up hungry, which I'm totally a breakfast person, but I never like wake up starving. And that happened today. Um, I think it's because it's that time of the month and I just want to eat everything in sight and I'm just constantly hungry. So anyways, I ate one of these around 11.30. Um, I love these bars. I I cannot stand the Quest bars, you guys. I know a lot of people like them, and they're definitely lower in carbs, um, but I cannot stand the texture or the taste. This one in particular is 24 carbs, but nine fiber and six sugar alcohol. So nine net carbs, which is a lot for a bar, um, but if you know you're gonna eat that and then you plan your day accordingly, it's not that bad. Um, so that's all that I've had. Like I said, it's 1.45 and I am hungry again. Um, Daisy's gonna go down for a nap in about 45 minutes, so I think I'm gonna wait to make my lunch, um, or make, I guess that would be lunch, or like a late lunch um, for when she goes down, just because then I can like make it and like eat it in peace. Um, but I'll just do like a super mini random 
somewhat boring Walmart haul for you um because I of course went in for like three things and came out with a ton so this is a very random haul we have like daisy and house stuff and then a little bit of grocery so um I picked up diapers I got the pack instead of the box normally we get the box but I'm gonna try potty training this week so or I should say not this week next week so I don't need didn't need a ton of diapers so thoughts and prayers uh <laughs> when it comes to that is much appreciated um, I got a three pack of the Walmart brand wipes. They are not my favorite, but they are just so cheap. I couldn't pass them up. I always get fragrance free no matter what brand wipe I get. Um, and obviously we can use these with, whether she's in or out of diapers. Um, I also picked up these flushable wipes. I have a caddy right next to her potty in the bathroom that has like books she can read and I'm going to slide these in there. Um, so picked up those. I was out of large Ziplocs. She wanted this and it was like 95 cents. So... Um, whatever makes her happy, whatever keeps her in the cart. Um, and then I picked up this candle, you guys. I was very impressed with this particular line of candles, the, the Better Homes and Gardens. Oh, my camera is not going to want to focus. This one is the lavender and vanilla, um, one. Um, I really liked this one. They also had a sandalwood vanilla and vanilla, which smelled so good. And it was five bucks. Um, I picked up two things of hangers. These were cheap too. They were a buck a piece. And then grocery wise, I picked up applesauce, which was what I initially went there for. She, I went initially for diapers and applesauce and walked out with all of this stuff. I picked up a bell pepper. I've been eating wraps lately with my low carb, like spinach tortilla wraps. And they just need more. It just needs more crunch. Like I love having those for lunch and the flavors there. And it just like hits the spot but I need more crunch. I'm a texture person, and um, so I picked up a bell pepper. I picked up this for Daisy. Um, she had the fettuccine Alfredo vegetable pasta a couple weeks ago and really liked it, so I picked up this um, so she can try the rotini. Um, let's see, a huge thing of Fiesta Blend cheese because you can never have enough of that. And then I got these for said potty training. This is gonna be like what she gets rewarded with if she goes in her potty. And of course, I couldn't leave without getting oh, my newest obsession, which I hate that it's an obsession. Okay, I picked up the Cherry Blade Lemonade. I initially ordered a different flavor in my Walmart order um, this past week for groceries, and they didn't have it, so they substituted it for this. And guys, this flavor, there's something about this flavor that takes me back to my childhood. I don't know what it is. I don't know... Um, what exactly what it reminds me of but it the flavor just like takes me back to being a kid i love it and then i picked up this because who the hell knows what this is supposed to taste like rainbow unicorn i mean like looking at it i would say cotton candy but they have a cotton candy flavor so what could this be that i just picked it up kind of for like the mystery of it all so i also thought since i since i have you all here um, I thought I would open my boxy charm. My boxy charm finally came today. It came super late this month. Um, but this is my boxy charm. I get this once a month. It's 21 bucks. Um, I used to do. I used to do Ipsy, which is 10 bucks a month. Um, but I was just getting sick of everything that I was receiving. It was all, you know, it's only 10 bucks. So it's all sample sizes. Um, and I was just bored and this was only 11 bucks. It's only 11 bucks more and it's all full-size things So I thought I would just open this with you guys because I got the notification that it came today and I'm like, oh my god Okay, I'm like a mask junkie, so I'm pumped about this um, This is the wander beauty lift off purifying and brightening peel off mask. I love peel masks um, I have tried multiple wander beauty things. I've tried the eye patches um, for dark circles like the gold ones and their mascara. I love their mascara. Both of those I got in a boxy charm too. The price, retail price of this, this is the full size and it's $34. So that pays for the box right there. Ooh, yes, brushes. Then I got two of these Moda Powder and Soft Glow brushes. So this will be a really good bronzer brush, um, looks like. And then this looks like it'd be a good highlight. This retails for $29.99. Okay, this I know I will never use. This is an Ofra liquid lipstick in Monaco. It's like a um, really shimmery, like mauve color. This is normally 20 bucks, but I will not use this. 
So Lord knows what I'm gonna do with that. Um, and then we have, ooh, I will use this. This is by the brand Appeal. I've never heard of that before, that brand before. Appeal, it's liquid eyeshadow and it's gold. I will totally use this on like the um, like beginning of my eyelid or even like as an inner corner highlight. Um, it doesn't have a shade on it. The retail price of this is 21 bucks. Ooh, I'm excited to use that. And then this is the one I was waiting for. Um, this is a Cover FX palette and I don't know how much you guys know about Cover FX, but they sell it at Sephora. It's a very high end um, line. Like <laughs> I would never go out and just buy. Yes. Okay. I was praying that I was gonna get, there's two like color variations of this. There was one for like deeper skin and lighter skin. And um, I have it in my preferences that I'm like lighter skin tone, but you never know. <sighs> so you get a highlighter and a contour. Oh my God, I'm so excited about this. A highlighter and a contour, a brightener, a finishing powder, and then another highlighter over here and a blush. Oh my God. This is what I was looking forward to the most. Oh, they are buttery soft. Um, this retails for $45. Like I said, Cover FX, they have multiple things that I've wanted to try before, um, but it's just too expensive. And that's why I love BoxyCharm because it's 21 bucks um, and you get full size everything. Um, so I will link, I mean, I, this is not a sponsored video, obviously, or anything. I don't have like a code, but I do have like a referral code. And if you use it, you get an extra thing in your like first box that you receive from them. And then I get an extra thing in my next box. So I'll leave it below in case anyone's interested. But I mean, and you know, the, the beauty of this also is that even though I literally will never use this, it doesn't matter because I'm this more than pays for the box. Yeah, so the whole box is valued at 150 bucks and I paid 21. Get on it guys, if you're a makeup junkie or a skincare junkie, I'm so excited about this palette. I'm, I'm really excited and I'm really happy that I got um, one that's like appropriate for my skin tone. So anyways y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this stuff away, put Daisy on for a nap and then I will see you when I make my um, late lunch low carb wrap. <laughs> see you guys in a bit. All right, y'all, so this is what I'm having for lunch. I decided to kind of have like a deconstructed wrap, if you will, because um, I'm glad I'm tracking today because my carb count is, I'm almost out of carbs already. So I decided to ditch the tortilla. Um, so I, and this is all portioned out, whether it be, you know, slices or ounces. Um, so I was able to calculate all of it. So I have some cheese, some wisps, uh, cucumber slices, bell pepper slices, six slices of salami, and then two tablespoons of ranch. So for all of this, it's six net carbs and 400 calories. I'm really glad that I'm tracking today because I, and I know it's because of the bar that I'm already out of carbs. And I think I only have like 300 calories left for the day. Um, my calorie allotment for the day is 1300, I think. Um, so I'm glad that I'm tracking. I mean, eating a bar is not the most ideal thing, um, but what I will say is it's better than like me eating a scone or a muffin or getting you know something there. They have like a little bakery cafe thing at the play place, and so it's very tempting to like get something like that. So you know, it's the lesser of two evils, I guess, but I think what I might try to do from now on is if I am hungry and I need a bar, only eat half of one, because I know that's what cut into my my um, carbs, obviously, and my calories, because a bar is 220 calories. Um, so I'm very much of the mindset that like when I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat, but I know I'm gonna go over, I don't know if I'm gonna go over calories today, but I'm definitely gonna go over carbs. Um, and that's okay, I think this is a good, it's a good lesson um, that I need to start tracking again so that I can get my carbs like under control. I'm also having a coconut LaCroix right now. Um, I really wanna have that unicorn bang, but anytime that I have like something that's not water during the day, I make myself drink water. So like if I want another iced coffee um, or I want an energy drink, I always make sure I drink water because otherwise I will only consume those things for the day and I will literally not drink 
I'll drink zero water, um, which is not healthy. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat and tidy up. Daisy, I think she finally fell asleep. She's only been in there like 15 minutes, but um, she I could hear her playing with her toys. I think she's finally sleeping. Um, but yeah, I just know I'm gonna go over today because we're gonna, also for tonight, we're gonna eat out because I didn't, I'm filming this on Wednesday and we were supposed to go to my sister's for dinner tonight and she's sick. So I didn't buy anything um, for tonight's dinner. So we're gonna have to eat out and get something from somewhere. And even if we eat keto, which duh, we are, um, I know it's gonna have carbs in it and I know I'm gonna go over. Again, now I'm kind of just treating this like kind of like an experimental, like how many carbs am I actually eating? I mean, obviously I'm still eating very low carb. I'm just, I don't think I've been staying under like my 20, 25. Um, and I'm definitely having a glass of wine later and that's a couple of carbs. So this will be very interesting to see how just the night pans out. And when I, all right y'all, it's 5.20. Um, Daisy's having snack. She got up at about 4.40 from her nap and she was in a mood, in a mood. Did you hear her? Hi people. Yeah, I put my new candle on the table so she's explaining to you guys that um, there's a new candle. Y'all, I love my new glasses and they were like crazy cheap, but when I film on them, like I didn't get anti-glare, so the glare is like awful. Um, anyway, like I said, it's 520. The only thing I've had since the last time that um, you saw me was this. Guys, this one is really good. It tastes like Skittles. It tastes like trop the tropical Skittles. Um, really, really good. Very impressed. The only flavor I have tried so far. How do you ask? Yes. The only flavor I've tried so far that I did not like was the black cherry vanilla. Um, because it was way too cherry for me. And I thought it tasted like cough syrup. But I've tried like the pina colada, the peach mango, this rainbow one, the sour heads, um, the cherry blade lemonade. So I've tried a lot and I actually went on their website because I wanted to see, um, I'm like, they have so many flavors and I feel like at my Walmart, we only have the Bang Energy drinks in like one of those cases by the cashier. It's in like the self checkout. And I feel like every time I go, there are new flavors and so I was like I just out of curiosity I'm like let me go to the website and see they have so many flavors and they have three new ones right now one of them being this rainbow unicorn and then a berry one and then they're coming out with a rosé like a fro it's called frosé rosé you all know I'm gonna have to try that one anyway Cernan's gone Cernan's out he's working I think I mentioned this before but he because he works from home so a lot of times he'll like when he's done with his meetings and stuff he'll go to like Starbucks or Barnes and Noble or like a random coffee shop and work from there just to like get out of the house, which I think is really smart because if I worked from home as much as he works from home, yes, love. Okay. Um, okay. Then I would want to get out of the house. So anyways, Daisy. Okay. One more meeting. Um, so he's out right now. He's gonna be home by 6.30 because that's when it's Daisy's bath time. He does bath and it's his turn to put her to bed. So he's gonna be home for that. He's either gonna pick us up dinner on the way home or he's gonna go out after and get it. We have no idea what we want. I'm thinking Chick-fil-A or Buffalo Wild Wings. I We are on a Buffalo Wild Wings kick lately, y'all. Um, like can't stop won't stop. It's all that I want. I crave their garlic parmesan wings. They're so good um, And I have also been wanting to try their dry rubs. I've never um, Ordered wings there with the dry rub. I've always ordered the lower carb like sauces. So I don't know we might do that tonight, too. So anyways, um I'll keep you posted. All right y'all. So we ended up getting buffalo wild wings for dinner. It's now 8 15 um, we ordered the large wings, like obviously bone-in wings. So with the large, you get four sauces. So we got the mild barbecue, the salt and vinegar dry rub, the Parmesan garlic wings, and then the hot barbecue wings. 
So I'm not going to crunch the numbers for this. I know I was like, I'm tracking today. I'm tracking today. I'm tracking today. But it's just too tricky because I'm not going to eat all of the same flavor, I guess is my point. Um, so it's a, for five wings, it's around like 400, between like 375 and 400 calories. Um, and I'll probably have like seven or eight wings. So it'll probably be a little bit more than that. And then in terms of carbs, the highest carb one that we got is the Parmesan garlic, Parmesan garlic. And it's three carbs per five wings, um, which is obviously like so, so low. Um, but again, like I'm not, it would take me, it would take me a hot minute to figure out like my exact like nutritional information because I'm not going to have all the same flavor, if that makes any sense. Um, but um, I'm going to have like six or seven wings. And then I ordered the, like, they called it a um, veggie boat. And it was, it was only 60 cents, but it was supposed to be like carrots and celery. But you get carrots and celery normally. So I thought that it would be like more than this. This is what you get. This is what you get, friends. I mean, I know it was only 60 cents, but the fact that like you have to add it on to your order, I thought it was going to be like, I would get something similar to that and then what would actually come with the normal order because you do get carrots and celery with a normal order but whatever um and then i got a side of blue cheese cernan is more into like either nothing or ranch and we have ranch here so um i am also drinking i don't know where my cup went i am having a glass of prosecco it's um, my go-to, Cernan picked it up for me today, which was very sweet. It's my go-to, um, M. Chevalier Cava Brut from Trader Joe's. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here because it's getting late. I've been really trying to go to bed early, um, because I have to get up at four in the morning. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed and like this video as well. Um... I've been contemplating copying Keto Mama, aka Nacine. Um, I'll link her channel below, but she does daily like macro videos. So it's not, she doesn't necessarily show you everything that she ate. It's more of just like a really quick, usually like five, six, sometimes like three minute videos um, showing like her calorie count and stuff for the day. Would you guys be interested in that or is that dumb? Do you prefer this format where you like actually see me through my day, what I'm eating? Let me know down below and leave a comment. Um, but yeah, I will go ahead and see you guys um, on Monday. Monday, I will have an entire grocery haul from Aldi. First ever time. And I'm not like pulling any punches. I'm not doing like get everything from Aldi, get, you know, get most things from Aldi, get like a couple things from Walmart. No, ma'am. Everything is going to be from Aldi. Um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but yeah, I will go ahead and see you guys in my next one. See you on Monday. Bye, friends.